Oh, what's going on today, guys? So, today we're gonna put the 55 in the backyard. Uh, I mean, here or not, I got the 47 running. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's not overheating. But to do that, I gotta take my fence apart. I really should put some gates on it or something like that, but whatever. So, we'll pull the gate down, or no, fence down, with the 47, fire up 55, the keys are in here, get that going. Drop this thing down, let's get some room out there, push it out, and I want to pressure wash and degrease it all. Because shockingly enough, we had snow, whatever it was, two, three days ago. Now it's like 15 degrees Celsius, so I don't know if that is, 60s-ish Fahrenheit. That's fantastic. So, I'm going to get started on that, maybe Danny will do a little filming for you, and we'll uh, see where we end up. Uh, unfortunately, I miscalculated the front car to the back car just won't fit so i gotta run around fire it up again pull it ahead pull this on ahead another foot danny's out walking the dog so i'm on my own here so you're not getting the the full effect but uh the suffer is real all right everything's moved around uh 56 is on the ground so the plan now i'm gonna try and roll it out with danny's junky car drag clip over hopefully i can just sneak her in there and degrease it pressure wash it we only got like one hand where the sun left oh it's getting dark early it drives me nuts so uh yeah we'll get that out we'll pressure wash the whole thing we'll suck it back in let it dry then i don't know maybe i'll do a little body work on the on the quarter start knocking it out or i don't know what i'm gonna do maybe i'll do nothing we'll see but that's the plan we'll get this thing out pressure wash it make a hell of a mess and uh, go from there well the daytime one it's now night uh I screwed up the pressure washer I must have left outside and the hose burst so I tried screwing up that. That didn't work. I did pressure wash this thing I guess at one time because it really wasn't actually that bad. Um, I spent a bunch of time, see all this kind of dirt, just actually running the hose through the frame as much uh, as I could and I got everything off. I mean it's all just, it's crusty now so that's good, just degreaser and a brush. It's like I'm 16 again. Uh, so let's see if I can order a pressure washer hose, it's actually supposed to be nice. For a couple days i would like to get it one more time and i'd like to get the frame all done but that's where i'm gonna leave this part of it for now i'm just gonna run the water out through the chassis and then i'll uh, drag it back in and let it dry what's going on guys so after a little bit of screwing around with the car we got our kind of hose down and degreased and all that i went and picked up the uh, one piece floor this is the whole reason i wanted this long bed truck you can fit a full uh, tri-5 chevy floor pan in it um now this is obviously the bottom and the back um but as you can see it's got these back mounts and it sweeps up and this is right where the trunk floor is i think i'm probably gonna zip it about there and i'll use the whole rest of the pan so my plan's gonna be i guess disconnect all the steering maybe take that all off undo the front uh kind of cowl support mounts I'm going to see if we can tilt this thing up. But as you can see in here, it's actually got a gorgeous weather day, which is a fluke. Um, yeah, do you step in here? So these back mounts, uh, they're pretty solid and they can be kind of gotten to. So I'm going to zip those out. And I'm thinking I'll probably just splice it. I'll have to see where it's rotted, but probably somewhere around like that. The kind of whole way across. And that'll get, because under here is the... The final body mount or the uh i think it might just be a support actually no mount but i'll get that out once that's all out and gone i'll just kind of trim it whatever get the rest of this kind of floor piece right up against this seam because that's where the new floor is going to join up to then i can get in and get the rest of the inner rocker out so it shouldn't be too bad now that there's all this room for activities in the front i'm going to zip it right again on this seam whole way up um i'll probably end up just kind of tacking it to the tunnel because the tow boards are kind of rotted so i'll probably get it all in where i want it weld it into the rockers do all that then i can replace this uh, piece after which isn't the end of the world i think i got some old floor pans or something or i can just do something with the bead roller um yeah i think the only issue is going to be the steering take that all apart so i can get the body kind of up but it shouldn't be too much of an issue so i'm going to cut the rest of this out front and back 
uh, get as much as I can out and still leave lots. Hose those down with some penetrating oil. I think there's just that, then there's the two mounts in the back, which I might just leave right in, just to kind of center the body. And when I have the body up, uh, I'm thinking all the door's closed. And just slide her in. It should be a, a good one. If, you, if you're really anticipating a bunch of struggle, this is where it's gonna happen. All right, a little bit of struggling. Got the last bit of the floor pan out. Um, screw it around here. Gotta take the front uh, steering all apart. I couldn't get the, I guess, pitman arm off. It was a pain, it's fighting me. And because tri fives, the box and the rod is all one piece, you can't just take it apart uh, for the body to go up. So I ended up just taking the center link off so that'll kind of dangle. I should just have the two bolts on the the core support there to undo and then I got two bolts in the back and I should be able to lift this thing up I got the floor kind of out so this is the this is the floor so this is the nice part these are the braces that uh, if you go back in a few videos where I was working on the 57 Chevy which were given away subscribe to the channel um, these are what I struggled with so they sell just the end caps which I've changed on every single one of these damn tri fives but again, these these braces are all pricey, and then you got the floor pans and all that, so you get the full thing. Um, I'll probably kind of place that floor on you know the other side, trace it, give it a rough cut. I might just lap the back on an inch or so, and then the front will fit flush, and then the inner rockers, which will fit uh, right up where the rockers should be. So again, I've bought rockers; they're sixty or seventy bucks a side. These, just the end caps, I think they're like 50 bucks a piece. And if you want the full ones, they're even more. Plus you got the pans themselves, so it adds up uh, adds up in a hurry. So this thing was, it was like a grand. So it's a, it was a lot of money, a lot of money. But I'm hoping I can have the floor kind of in and it'll make the car look so much nicer. So I'll do a little more screwing around. I gotta do, I'm gonna clean up all the edges, which I'm gonna be welding and whatnot. Uh, that might be hard to get to, eh, maybe not and uh but i will grind the car itself real good all the inner rockers and stuff like that because that is going to be an ugly job and uh i'll get that all taken care of i think the next time you see it i think i'm gonna wrestle the engine crane around mm, just to lift it up i think that might be the easiest way i'm not too sure if i should do it on blocks or not but we're trying to use basic hand tools to accomplish this so i guess we'll see So, I think everything is disconnected, and uh, I'm hoping the engine crane doesn't get in my way, but I've got a plan. i still got to get into one little spot there and grind out where the front floor braces were. That's what I'm thinking. I'll just remove the body to do that. And rely solely on this chain. Maybe a few four. I should probably go get some four by four blocks. Or something. Like there's someone screaming at me right now. Should we do that before you lift it? I'm thinking it'll be okay. I'm like pretty sure. That's it. You're just clipping it to the to that to the just the just to that. That's what I was thinking about doing. Heavy it is. You know how in those safety videos, this is where I feel like they'd pause and be like, should Johnny A, B, or C? <laughs> that side's lifting, this side's not. Maybe I should put chain on it. It's a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. Safety third. Alright, I'll chain up for it right back. <laughs> Is it still stuck? No, oh, the wheels are off the ground. I'm actually super proud of this. This is two different kinds of chain. It's got a lock holding it together, but I put a safety bolt in it. Watch your feet. Oh. Jesus. It's gonna be stuck somehow. It's 
loose, that doesn't want to let go. Where's that? How did you know that? Just saw it. That's embarrassing. Confidence is medium. Is this bolt right here? Yeah. Pretty strong bolt, eh? Very. I'm impressed. It makes me actually feel a lot better about riding in these old cars. I'm not going to lie to you. I think there are supposed to be three bolts in there. Jesus. It's pretty cool, eh? That's very cool. So I'm just going to do with the one brake line. Keep my head out from under it. I'll mur over real quick. Is he busy yet or what? No, they didn't seem very busy when I went and picked up the dog. Yeah, maybe I was trying to manhandle it. 911 on speed dial. Alright, so it's up. I'm going to take the remaining mounts out. I'll clean up inside just a little bit. Uh, I'll put some blocks of wood under it right now, actually, so it's not nearly death defying. Oh, it's all coming together. Is it though? Hey, everyone you see doing floors is always like in a fancy shop with a hoist and this and that. We're doing it with next to nothing. <laughs> On a dollar seventy nine. <laughs> no knowledge. No tools. No smarts. You're kind of smart. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm making euros for Din Din. Nice. That'll be good. Alright. Let's drop this thing down. Let's pull the pole for a brand new rock or something. Let's open it won't. That one's not really like holding it. Well, I don't want you to die. You're my only source of income. <laughs> well, that's fine. Just grabbing the rock from a different spot. Oh. Fine I, enough. I like you. I like you. You alive. Thanks. Okay. Now, four of them gives me a bunch of shit with not welding this thing together. We'll see how the doors open and close still. Oh, yeah. This thing's not going to twist at all. Sweet. Was that a worry? Uh, I think, yeah, there was a worry the car was going to do that, like, whatever, especially when you're lifting it and stuff. And the doors will open and close fine. The door gaps look fine. So I'm fine with it. It's DD Speed Shop approved. Yeah, it's got to clean up two little spots, and uh, I got this box of mounts, so I'm going to put the rubber mounts down in all the little holes, which I've done this before. I did this on the 55, and did on your car, actually, with the body on. That's a nightmare, but now, no floor in there. 
plop all these in. Heck yeah, man. High fives. LG, buddy. All right. Uh, I'll do some grinding. We'll come back. We'll do some time lapse of shimmy and the floor in. I think it's gyro time. Gyro time? Um, I was going to do this just in laps, but I thought, because I don't really know what I'm doing, I kind of show you along the way, and maybe it would just we have a bit of a long part of the video, but so these are the body bushings that came out, and that's the new ones going in. So these ones aren't too bad. Some of them are real sacked out, though. Lee. They got little spacers, which I do have. If I need them, I can put them in. Um, so, again, the doors open and close like nothing. No problems there. Body's not twisted. So I have them all in all the little holes. You can see all the little black pocky pucks there. Mm hmm So... I'm ready to eat supper, so I think we're going to crank this thing up on the crane. We'll just kind of roll the floor in. I'm going to put it down, try and line it up on the uh, on some of those the mounts, well, all the mounts. Put a few bolts in it just to kind of hold the floor. Now there's going to be a lot of screwing around with it, but I want to get it in there because I'm ready for a win before supper. I believe in you. <laughs> which, which part seems a little crazy? You need to be more specific. This is where a hoist would be pretty sweet. That sounds expensive. Yeah. Do you want me to grab the other end? Sunset, that's real nice. It's nice, pretty. This is like my addition tape for chip loose. <laughs> Why do you want to be the next American Idol? I can't remember what his show is called, so. Nails on a chalkboard. Me hold it up.
don't know if it's doing good or bad, but it makes progress. Super slow cool being under it. going pretty good. aware this is in fact my reality <laughs> I like it it's like the body's doing a wheel stand in the yeah. doing it looks mean I like it it'd be cool if you could like have it lifted like that yeah sir. yeah It's like the selfie angle, but for a car. Okay. They look good from different angles. Holy crap. It like self-installed itself. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed uh, with the aftermath of that. Wow, you really botched up the floor, though. <laughs> I was gonna put it on top, though, so we might have to slide it ahead. We'll do that after supper. Look at that. Just gotta zip it across there, weld it in, and then, yeah, it'll weld right to this. Nice. This is slick. Fancy. $1,000. A lot of money, eh? Oh, I got the steering box all boo bar. It's not helping my cause. No, it will help your cause. Let's go have some supper. Yeah. Be back in a bit. All right, guys. Well, had a little snack. Figured I'd show you where we're at. So, the floor's in the car is actually uh, on stand. Door still open, <coughs> close. Door still open, <coughs> close. Door still open, <coughs> close. <coughs> Door still open close. So, I got the floor in. Uh, I start off, I just put some uh, screwdrivers in the front holes. So it's lined up. And again, the tow boards are pretty mangled. I put a uh, ugly tack weld on the very front of it. I uh, then went underneath, I'll show you. I put, some, I made sure all the bolts lined up. And I uh, or the holes and I bolted them on. Uh, I didn't use all the rubbers, just what I you know, some big washers. Now I'm working my way across the back again. I left it with uh, some extra material, so I'm just kind of slicing down through both floors until I'm kind of happy. And I put again, it's welded right there to kind of hold it. Um, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the floor. The only thing is, there's a bit of a gap on the uh the wheel tub it's got probably quarter inch or half inch but uh, i think i'll just bend the wheel tub in and the floor out and it'll just kind of pinch weld together and that should be fine um where it joins to the sill same thing i mean i don't know it's got not bad i can damn near do it so i'll just vice grip that and kind of crimp that together it's all bent and stuff anyways and uh, i'll probably just plug weld that or i don't know what i'll do but I'll figure something out. 
So, I mean, really, uh, yeah, I gotta say, it wasn't that much work. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it slid together. I would definitely, definitely do this again. If you're taking the car this far apart, motor trends are out, etc. So far, it seems like it's okay. The floor is there. The car is still somewhat square. I, like I said, I left the back uh, mounts in, so it kind of cranked on them, but uh, it kept the car from going side to side. Um, the front, uh, I put that back in, if you can see, but it lines up, so that's just literally nut and bolt together. So, I mean, I don't know, where it bolts to the frame, like that's the car. I didn't mess with that, and I didn't mess with the trunk. So, if the front most line up and the rear most line up, the car didn't go side to side or front to back. The floor went in, and now they're all lined up which I'll show you. Again, this is uh, amateur, amateur hour done in the garage, but uh, as you can see, all the bolts lined up. Now, I don't have any of the rubbers in, but, because I still want some movement, but they're all in, and I'm just, well, you can see there, that's what I'm cutting out right now. So I'm working my way across, and that little piece will come out. I'll have one seam across the back, the seam seal, paint, and go from there but uh i don't know i think it went pretty good hopefully you guys are enjoying it i'm just gonna finish uh zipping out the back put some tack welds in maybe i'll set the lapse camera up um do a little bit more welding and call it for the night leave on a bit of a win but i spent when i did that 57 i don't know how many hours i spent doing this i got home from work at four it's, I stopped for uh, dinner, it's 8.20. So call it three hours. And I had the floor test fit in. Like that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, it's still got lots of screwing around and all that, but I bet this will be a eight hour job, 10 hour job. Like it's for sure something you could do in the weekend. And those other floors took forever. I mean, I gotta think it's three or four days. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, I've changed my mind. Uh, I finished cutting out the rear floor section, so it's sitting where it's going to be. I put just a few tack welds on it. Um, what I want to do, though, I want to have the floor uh, bolted down with all the bushings and all that, so I need some longer bolts. I need another half inch. This is all I have. One and a half, maybe, or two, or whatever. But I need another half inch to suck it all right down. There's only just a few threads grabbing, and I don't want to hammer it down and screw up the blind uh, nuts in the brand new floor. Um, so I'm gonna do that, so that way the floor will be completely centered where I want it, everything's good there. I'll just uh, clamp the sills together, buzz those together, uh, do across the back like nothing, in the wheel arches, which is good. This side on the lower rocker, it's actually pretty ratty, so I'm just gonna redo that, so on the outside, like on the fender side. And uh, then I just gotta, because the floors came with inner rockers, they have to be buzzed in, which I mean, to the brand new metal is no big deal. And back there on this one is junk, and that side's not too bad. But then the floor will be 100% secure. Then I can start working on the tow boards. But uh, before I put a bunch of heat in the thing and start twisting on it and everything, I wanna make sure it's, it's anchored right down. And I'm happy with it, which so far, I'm stoked on it. Uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of cleanup tonight, toss all this junk in the, in the truck so i can uh, throw it out in the bfi tomorrow but uh that's where i'm leaving it. i'm trying to work a lot cleaner on this one but we should be able to knock this out tomorrow and uh yeah on the next thing on the next video which i'm sure will probably be i think i should probably finish the rockers and maybe the quarter on this side that being said i also want to jam the motor in so leave a comment what you think i should do next we'll go from there see you guys tomorrow what's going on guys uh, it's the next day. I got a really late start. It's about to 8 o'clock, so we'll see how much I get done. I'm hoping I can uh, buzz in the floors in the back around the tunnel and then uh, along the sills, and then I'll do the underside and all that at some other time. Anyways, I got a bunch of stuff. I got grinding discs. Those are important. I got some longer bolts. So the first thing I got to do is get under the, uh, under the floor and bolt it all down because I just have it... Uh, not proper. Yeah, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got a wire wheel. 
So I'm thinking after I get the floors in, we'll finish up this video. How nice those doors shut, right? Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of wire. There's a bunch of like scaly kind of junky rust and whatever on there. So I'm gonna see, I'll take the brake lines off, wire wheel the whole mess. I'll probably do the front end. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now or not, but wire wheel it all, paint it all black at the very least. I uh, gotta put on those other mounts. I'd like to put the motor and trans in and uh, get that all kind of dialed together. I gotta weld in the cross member for the transmission as well. So that's a bunch of kind of screwing around, but uh, shouldn't be too much work. I get that going, paint under the hood, the firewall, get all that kind of cleaned up, start taking that stuff off. And the spring kit and the re relocation and all that. Uh, I talked to the guy today, it just got, got mailed out today, so I should have it next week. Hopefully the mail is going painfully slow, but uh, yeah. I don't know, we're making lots of progress. Lots of little welding to do here and there, the trunk floor and, and the other quarter is so, so hammered. I'm fighting out if I should just buy a little panel. It just has that giant crease. The door can be fixed, it's not too bad. It's not rusty, it just has that dent so I can knock that out. Like I said here, the, the a full quarter on this is uh, well over $1,000, which that's a lot of money for me. Uh, I found a guy who actually has this front panel which I might buy I think it goes to probably about there up and over it'll take care of all this rust and this big crease which is actually full of filler anyways and then I just have this little section here which I can cut out put a new piece in knock the top out and then the back's actually shitty too but whatever so uh we'll set the laps up we'll buzz all these floors in I think that's all I'm gonna do today buzz them in get her done get it all bolted together do one more tour of it and kind of finish it up because really i think a whole video on the floors will be uh, exciting i'm excited about it um so i ran across the whole back i didn't do around the wheel tubs because i'll actually do that from underneath um because it'll just i can clamp it to the existing tub and just do it there i'll seam seal in the top so it'll be fine i'll do top and bottom um i have to probably build a little piece between the bottom i don't know what you want to call that like where the rear door would be the rear pasture kind of compartment and move over it's a little soft there yeah it's not too bad i might be able to just kind of put some ugly welds in it not there's any load on it there. Uh, I already got the other side uh, sill to the floor. I'm going to do the same here. I don't know if it was plug welded, but they uh, they have just a little kind of gap. You can see it's kind of pretty consistent. So I just kind of zip, zip, zip like that, and it'll be fine. Uh, I ran across the front of the tunnel, so it's good. Uh, again, all the body mounts are in and tight. Um, you know, the car's still straight, door's still open and closed. I've been checking that as I go. Um, but you can see here the floor is so, so beat up there. I'm going to have to make the bottom six or eight inches on both sides. But that's, that's no big deal. I'll have lots of good metal to weld to. So I'm just going to buzz in there real quick. 
and uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Been a lot of work, a lot of welding. Uh, welding this area is really crappy because it has all the undercoating top and bottom, so it's eh. I could have done a better job cleaning it, but at the end of the day, I'm going to just kind of grind it down, seam seal it, paint it black, and put carpet over it. So who cares? It's kind of the way I see it, anyways. But yeah, so I'll set the camera up. We'll get this real quick plugged in. It was really no big deal. Put a few in, knock it straight, and that'll be covered again in the carpet. And the sill plates. Oh, I don't have any sill plates on this, but eh, whatever. A little stuff here and there. But yeah, this thing is, uh, it went from a real ratty basket case to kind of a, a pretty solid car in just a few hours. So I've been working on it probably two hours tonight. I'll got probably another hour in it. Uh, I don't know what I did yesterday. I'll check the camera. But uh, I bet this floor, if you were prepped, like if you had to clip off the motor and trans out, I mean, a weekend, you could do it the whole job. Pull the whole <laughs> vehicle apart motor trans out front clip off and cut the floor out one day the next day get it all in there get it tacked together and welded and you'd have a whole new floor in the thing so it's a big job but i think this is the way i'm going to do stuff from now on i mean if you can get away with just a little patch here and there but i don't know i know they sell this for camaros and chevelles and all sorts of stuff so what do you guys think it's my first one and i love it if you guys have done it let me know in the comments because i think it's it's expensive but the time savings is phenomenal. Well, I gotta say, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy and pretty proud of myself the way this went down. This car was such a basket case, considering it was essentially cut in half to repair it, other than uh, the roof. I mean, doors, door gaps are still good, front and back, nothing went goofy there. Sills fit nice, I mean, the doors are a little rotten, but we'll fix that up down the road. So that's that. I'm real happy with this. Now, I said there's still lots of little bits here I gotta do. The tow boards are gonna be lame, but they're actually not too bad to get to. You want the motor in it? Cause it's just right here. So you can get to it with the fenders off, no problem. Up next, we'll be wire wheeling, painting a bunch of stuff black, getting all this stuff off that we don't necessarily need. I can't see taking a whole lot off actually. Uh, I'm fighting out the brakes. Um, Disc brakes are 500 bucks, Canadian, so I don't know, it's like 350 or something like that for like a Speedway kit, which, uh, I mean, I probably should do, because I'm sure the Masters junk, uh, odds are I'll be putting shoes and all that on there, and the second needs a drum or two, you might as well just upgrade, because it's uh, just not worth it, and in the back I have that uh, Nova 10 bolt, so again, that's, I mean, a set of drums and whatever, and I'll have brand new brakes, I can easily put uh you know it'd be like having nova, a nova with manual brakes so really it's probably a way to go it's tough justifying spending money on something if i'm not going to keep it because ultimately i do want to probably just sell this thing to uh fund the garage project but i think that's where i'm going to leave it uh i'll double check make sure i have enough footage so we're not going to carry on to this but if this is the end thank you very much for watching as always leave a comment uh, I appreciate all the support, all the way you guys help out. If you have any hit, uh, tips and tricks about this full floor stuff or, or whatever you see, make sure you let me know because I like learning the whole way uh, throughout the project. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and we'll, uh, we'll be back. And I am not going to lie. This uh, Telram small block has been sitting around way too long. It needs to go in the car. Oh, you should let me know. Should I take it apart and paint it? So it looks nice and shiny, Chevy orange. Or leave it kind of ratty looking. I mean, it was painted and stuff like that. Aluminum water pump, aluminum uh, intake, and valve covers. It's all dirty, so I can clean it up and make it look nice. But do I make it look brand new and shiny or just kind of a little raggedy? I think I'm going to paint all this black, firewall black, everything black. So it'll, it'll stand out in there no matter what we do. All right. I'm out of here. 
See you guys in the next video.